All right, good morning, everybody. Great to see you here. Welcome back from spring break. Everybody have a good break? Yeah, we had the Army Conference here last week, so uh, we had a great time as well, and lots of great ministry, so great to have you back, and uh, we're looking forward to a great campus days this year. Our attendance is way up from last year, and uh, so it's going to be a great week. So why don't you greet somebody you didn't come with this morning, tell somebody you love them and that God's for them. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. How we know that the word of God is yes and amen. Every promise, every word is yes and amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If God's for you, the Bible says what? Who can be against you? Amen. And we're so grateful this morning that God is for us. Thank God he's for us. Hallelujah. Listen, why don't you lay your hands on somebody next to you this morning and just bless them in Jesus' name. Just begin to pray over them. We're going to finish strong as we come back together. We've just got a few weeks left, and we're going to finish strong. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, come on. Just bless somebody next to you with the life of Christ within you. Those of you joining us online, if you've got somebody next to you, just begin to bless them this morning in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you that you are the more than enough, not the barely enough. That you are a healer, you are a provider, you are the source of life today. And we bless you, Father. We thank you that whom the sun sets free is free indeed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Now give somebody a hug. We're going to have a great morning this morning.
this place, this place of your grace. Thank you, Lord God, that we are that place now, the place of freedom, the place of grace, the place of more than enough of who you are, flowing out from the inside, filling us up, Lord God, to overflowing. Come on, let's just slip our hands up to the Lord as we begin our day today. And just bless him with a heart of thanksgiving that today he's more than enough. That today he is our victory. Today he is our provision. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus, that you are alive and well in us this morning. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah.
matter to you. We're so grateful, God, for who you are. Thank you, Jesus. Amazing love that welcomes me. The kindness of mercy That bought with blood wholeheartedly my soul undeserved. God, you're so good. God, you're so good. God, you're so
has bought for me <laughs> both now and forever looking like it's crazy and going all different directions God thank you that we can say we know that you are good your word is true and you Lord God you Lord God are the one who's always faithful hallelujah we have a prophetic word this morning I want to receive right now let's just hear what the Lord wants to encourage us with and build us up um, <clears throat> I had this picture of, uh, of the Lord, of Jesus. He was passionately all over this room trying to get our attention because all over this room, you guys, we're, we have our hands raised. We're singing to the Lord. We're singing to Jesus, but we're missing him right in front of us. Like he's up there in the sky somewhere. Like, like, you know, the healing is coming from the sky. The victory, the peace is coming from the sky. When the Lord is standing right in front of you, each and every one of you, how would our worship change if he was standing right in front of us? What, what would it look like singing to him? We wouldn't be singing past him. We wouldn't be singing to, to an ideology out there. We'd be singing to the healer. We'd be singing to the Prince of Peace standing right in front of us. He's passionately trying to get our attention and see that it's not supposed to be hard. He loves us and he's standing right in front of us. 
So as we go back into this, you guys, see that in your mind's eye. Worship with the Lord standing right in front of you because he loves you and he wants to be there. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. next song not as peace bring it all to peace like it's something out there we have to grasp because he's already given it to us let's just thank him thank him peace you bring it all to peace the storm surrounding me let it break at your name ready peace you bring it all to peace the storm surrounding me let it break at your name you call the sea still, the rage of me is still every way. At your name, Jesus, Jesus, you make the darkness tremble. Jesus, Jesus, you silence fear. Jesus, Jesus. You make the darkness tremble, Jesus, Jesus. these bones to live, call these lungs to sing once again. I will praise Jesus, Jesus. You make the darkness tremble. Jesus, Jesus. You silence fear. Jesus, Jesus. You make the darkness Jesus, 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 you make the darkness tremble. Jesus, Jesus, the silence fear. Jesus, Jesus, you make the darkness tremble. Yeah.
Thank you that you are in us and flowing out from us. God, thank you that we don't have to just come to you, but Lord, you came to us. And now, Lord God, because you are alive in us, we, we walk with you today, Lord God. We allow your life in us to fill us, to fill our attitudes, fill our emotions, fill our thoughts, everything within our soul cries out to say, bless the Lord, O oh, my soul, and all that is within me. God, we give you glory and thanks this morning. And everybody said in Jesus' name, amen. So good to worship with you. Good to be back together again. We love you guys. Have a great day and a great week. Amen. Bible college has really changed my life. When God spoke to me about coming to Kerry's Bible College, I was 77 years old. And people just said I was too old to come to school. But I said, God told me to come to Kerry's regardless of my age. It doesn't mean anything to God. God is awesome. God is a big God. And you just cannot outdream God. And I believe that God is going to challenge you. He may not show you step one through 10, but he'll show you the next step. And if he speaks to you about coming to Karis Bible College, we want you to come. When God really started to put the desire in our heart to, to come to Karis, I just had this dream, this vision, and that beautiful deck out there overlooking that little pond and snow-capped mountains in the background. And I just like, someday I'm gonna sit out there on that deck and I'm gonna have my, my coffee. I'm gonna study God's word. And then I'm going to go to class. I've enjoyed all the teachers. I've enjoyed the students. I'm just so happy to be here. And being older, I can relax and enjoy it. In our Bible college, the Bible is our textbook. Hear world-class speakers. This June 12th through the 14th, attend the Kingdom Business Summit. Learn from Andrew Womack. Willie Robertson, Paul Milligan, Dr. Henry Cloud. Check out kbs2019.org for all the info. Amen. Welcome back from spring break. How is everybody this morning? Yeah, it was good. Relaxing. Nice vacation. Awesome. So here we are. It's Campus Days Week, and we have quite a bit on the agenda this week. So I want to just make you aware of a few things. Um, they still need help with uh, setting up for the LED screen. That's with Jonathan Womack's team on Thursday night. And then also we still need parking volunteers. This will be Missions Points. You can go ahead and go to iVolunteer and sign up for that. The, that's still open for you guys to do. And then